Hi learners and welcome to today's video where we are talking about the different types of data. Now in the previous video we dealt with um, why we actually collect data and now we're looking at the different types of data. Now data can be recorded in words or with numbers and so we're going to use some big terms here now. Okay, Qualitative data is the data that's recorded in words. Quantitative data is data recorded with numbers. So remember when they talk about qualitative, think words. Quantitative, think numbers. And here we see a distinction as well. With qualitative data, what are we doing? We are using our senses to observe the results. We are listening. We are getting answers, you know, things like that. Quantitative data are made with instruments such as rulers, balances, cylinders, breakers, you know, all of those things. These results then are measurable and that's when we talk about our numbers. So with qualitative data, it's also called categorical data and it tends to be very descriptive data. For example, somebody's favorite colors, you know, people's opinions, etc. Here we see another example. Qualitative data could be data that's coming from interviews, which will reveal patterns of thought and behavior. Maybe it's face-to-face -face user, user testing. Um, it lets or let you discern between what users say and what they really do. It shouldn't be your. Okay. Anyway, um, observation, helping you understand users' emotion and distinguish between what they want and what they think they want. So this is all part of um, extracting qualitative data. And then we have quantitative data. Now we said this is based on numbers. This is why it's also called numerical data. Now if the data is recorded with numbers, then we can categorize it even further into discrete data and continuous data. So please, when you see this, know that uh, it's daddy, if I can put it that way, is quantitative data. Okay, so let's just look at these two quickly. Discrete data. This is the type of data that's obtained by counting the number of times each category we are investigating occurs. This kind of data has a definite or has definite specific values or quantities. For example, data about the number of taxis on the road. Is that definite? Is that specific? Yes, it is. Okay. Whereas continuous data is obtained by measuring a particular quantity. The values are not necessarily whole, but can be fractions or part of the whole. For example, various ages, mass or height measurements. So here are a few examples. With our discrete uh, data, we could be looking at things like the number of eggs, the number of kids in a class, the number of Facebook likes, the number of diaper changes in a day, etc. Whereas continuous data would be things like the weight difference to eight decimals before and after you eat <laughs> a bunch of cookies. Okay, Wind speed, water temperature, volts of electricity. Okay, So I hope this now shows you the difference between those two. And these are our basic types of data.